Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. So I got in a Hedgehog Hollow, as you can see, um, subscription kit. So that is what we are going to check out in this video. Um, I also went back to Hobby Lobby today because if those of you who saw the community post, they didn't turn out the way I wanted them. So I went and picked up more ornaments. Fortunately, they still had some but um they're almost sold out on the bright side i found replacement um bubble bulbs for my bubble lights for the christmas tree so there's that and um i've also placed order uh, an online order for a ribbon for the white house tree so uh the white house tree i'm probably not going to post it until closer to christmas um to give me time to work on the ornaments. Hopefully the ribbon gets in next week and so I can get that on the tree. And the tree skirt um, should be in too. So um, just remember when I do that video that that tree is a work in progress and it's probably gonna change over the next couple of years till I figure out how um, I actually want it to be like, I don't know if I want to add in, you know, like decorative, like picks, like pine cones or I, I don't know. I, I haven't figured it out yet. Um, so there's that. Um, I have a small TJ Maxx video that I'm going to share this week. And I went to Tuesday morning today, so I'm probably going to share the Tuesday morning haul tomorrow just you know and that'll be after I get home and then I'm going to try to pre-record some stuff so it'll post during the day for you guys um I've just I've been really tired uh I think my iron is down again so uh I go in the first I think the first week of January I go in for more blood work so we can see what's going on um anywho if you're new to my channel, welcome. Uh, Rochelle here, the Delightful Crafter. Um, if you're new to my channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Ding that bell next door if you want to get notifications of my future videos. Thumbs up, likes are always appreciated. And any questions or comments, please leave them down below. So, uh, still, I went ahead and I... I can't remember what's in this one, but I think this was a kit that I didn't mind getting. Um, as I've mentioned before, the Hedgehog Hollow, while I'm on the subscription, um, it's one of those things that I think I will just, you know, pay attention because I don't like them all, um, which is sad to say um, because Alexandra, who, you know, and she has a channel on YouTube called the Hedgehog Hollow. You should check her out. Um, she has a wonderful British accent. Love it. Her husband's funny. Her daughter's cute. And, um, yeah. So, um, if you're interested, I'll put her link, her YouTube channel down below. I'm not affiliated with her, so I'm not trying to sell you anything. Those who have been around forever know that I just share with you guys what I, my finds and whether I like stuff or not. Um, so anywho, let's see see love the tissue paper her cute little sticker and so much for trying to save it anywho and I think she started or partnered I don't know if she partnered with somebody or if she created the line herself but she's I want to say this line maker forte might be her her personal line that she's um, getting started in and I, I gotta say if that's the case go Alexandra because um, she really just dove right in anyway so we're gonna set that aside there's always some kind of piece of candy I'm gonna pull this down and so sending hedge hugs aren't those little hedgehogs adorable I think she said the hedgehog's name is Rosie because of the roses that are in it. And this kit includes the Forest Friends 6x8 stamp set. 
Animal Greetings 4x6 stamp set, the Floral Hedgehog 3x4, which is rosy, Maker Forte Sugar Sparkles in British Racing Green and Scrunchy, Maker Forte Simple Sayings Half Sheet, Tonic Studio, and Ellen Hudson Coupons available. So when you subscribe, there's a Facebook group that you can join and then you find out. And then as a regular subscriber bonus, there is a stencil. So, but I think that might be fun to like color with probably, I don't know if I do alcohol markers with those or what, but I do love hedgehogs. Um, I love all kinds of things, I, but I don't, I love them, but I don't go out of my way to collect them. I do have like a cute little trinket tray of a hedgehog and that's about it. But I do think they're adorable. So anyway, so there's that. Here is the little stamp set. So now I can stamp all the cute little rosy hedgehogs that I want. Really cute. And my understanding is she designs all the stamps that come in the kit. Then we have uh, the animal greeting. So have an amusing day. Thank you very much. I'm nuts about you and you're a dear friend. And then you have an acorn, a tree, a different foliage. So, so there's that. Here's the stamp set. Now, it is almost, almost too cutesy for me, but I can work with this. Um, I can, I can see myself using them. Now, if it didn't come in the kit, I wouldn't, I don't think I would have gone out of my way to buy it, but these are the forest friends. So owl, always love you, miss you dearly, hopping by to say hi. So these are kind of like extra sayings since, well, the deer, there's not one for the raccoon. Um... Yeah, there's not one for the raccoon. That's okay. Um, so you have a, a cute little deer, or as Karen would say, oh dear! And then we have our raccoon, a bunny, uh, a girl bear, boy bear, a moose, an owl, I love owls, and the squirrel is adorable. And then you have some hearts. So there are the stamps that come uh, in this month's kit. Honestly, there's not a lot in this month's kit. Here's the subscriber bonus stencil. And I can actually see myself using that. So I do love the stencil. And then um, these are sayings that you can cut out. And my understanding is, is these are foilable. So I can use, uh, use it in the mink. So, um, we have happy birthday, sending hugs, get well soon, congratulations, thinking of you. Um, so those sayings in different fonts and sizes. So, so I, I guess I can use those. So there's that. And that's the, the bulk of the kit. And then we have, she calls them sugar sprinkles. And this one is the British Racing Green. And I want to say, it, it looks like it's probably an extra fine, they say holographic. Yeah, they're holographic. And then this one is Sugar Sparkle. So I'm going to try and open these to share. Um, let's see. It does have a really beautiful sheen to it and I can kind of see the holographic look and I think she shared ways to use this um, I really like that one I think that's really pretty so there's that's the sh uh, something scrunchy I think is what it said and I like the pots they come in the pots are really awesome well looks like it has to go on a very specific way so down well I gotta say the lids aren't very friendly it's 
So there we go. Okay. It's a very specific lid. That's for sure. And then I'm excited about this green. I think this is going to be pretty on some Christmas cards. It's like, I think you can make it really intense or light, you know, however you choose to do it. Um, I think it's really pretty. I'm going to try and use it on some Christmas cards. Um, honestly, I don't see myself getting much rest in the next week or so because I am, I have, s darn it. Yeah, these don't close very, they're cute, but geez. So there are those. So I have Christmas cards I have to make. I got to work on the ornaments. I have to hope that the ribbons come in quickly so I can finish the ornaments. And then I'm going to try tucking ribbon through the tree. That kind of look. I've never done it before. Um, so we'll see how that turns out. The Christmas, the the Christmas tree, uh, like I said, I'll probably show closer to Christmas as it's a current work in progress. Again, I have a TJ Maxx, a Tuesday morning. Um, I have a Stampin' Up! order that's coming. Um, tonic is shipping. Um, my cantilever box finally arrived. Um, uh, I think I'm waiting. You know what? No, I'll save that. No, I'll share this one because TJ Maxx isn't crafty. So I got an order in from uh, Create and Craft TV. And I usually forget when I order from them because they come. it comes from the UK and it takes a while. And then I forget. So, but I love ombre looks. And so they had a really good bundle. I'm just going to pull them all out and um, share it show them at the same time because it was a bundle. Um, anything else in there? Nope, it just feels heavy. So this bundle was two, two, four, two, four, eight, eight stamp pads. And... They're by Hunky Dory, and I got them, including shipping, uh, for $32. So, it does, I, I, I couldn't tell if they were any, besides the fact that they're ombre, I couldn't tell what kind of ink it is. Um, oh, it's an acid, it's just a dye-based ink, so, um, really no special qualities except for the cool ombre look. So we have it in orange, or they call this red, it looks like orange to me, but here's the orange. So they're, they kind of look pretty darn close, but that's how they look. And when you have stamp pads like this, if you've never used one before, how you get the ombre look is, um, and I'll demonstrate this probably here in the next week or so. Um, but you just take your stamp and you kind of tap it around just a little bit and it m blends it just enough where you're not, you know, um, contaminating your other colors, but it blends together on your stamp pad and they, it, it's such a pretty look. So, and I could kick myself because I had a ton of the kaleidoscope pads and I guess about five years ago. I sold them to somebody for some like ridiculous price and I could kick myself because uh, if you find them, they're expensive now. Anyway, so there's the orange and the reds. Then we have um, the purples and the blues. So here's the purples. I really love that one. I think that's gorgeous. And then we have the blues. It definitely looks prettier on the pad than it does on the cover. So. There are those. Here are the pinks. Now that looks kind of ugly right now, but I, I'm pretty certain that when it's stamped, it's going to have a really nice um, 
blend effect. So there's that one. Then we have the browns. There, there were no blacks or grays, which I kind of bummed about. So there's that, and there's the browns. Then we have the greens and the yellows. So there's the greens. Um, I think they're really pretty. I like that. There's that, and then the yellows. So, um, so yeah, so that is what is going on right now. Um, I'm actually gonna pop off here, go swap some laundry and, um, crawl into bed because it's already seven my time and I should be in bed right now. <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah. But anywho, um, there's a couple videos coming out this week. And hopefully the tonic stuff should start arriving. Um, I know that my subscription kit renewed. So I think that's going to be arriving in the next couple of days as well. So yeah. Anywho, I hope y'all have a wonderful rest of your week. I hope to see you back here again. Um, like I said, I will demonstrate um, some of these pads later. Actually, it'll probably be this coming weekend. Um, cause I've just, I've got a lot, uh, that I'm trying to get done and, um, I'm still trying to finish Christmas shopping. I got my husband done. I've not bought a thing for any of my boys or my daughter-in-law. I bought one thing for my daughter. <laughs> so I'm, I'm kind of behind the curve right now, but. Anyway, I hope y'all have a wonderful rest of your week. I hope to see you again later. And as always, I love you guys to pieces. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.